as some of you know, I create art. Um, some of it's all right. Some of it's good. Some of it's not so good. Um, but the point is, I create art in my spare time. I'll display more images, but here's one of the pieces. But I do quite a lot of stuff. Um, and it is kind of a problem because it's all Team Fortress related. Um, that's kind of only on my mind lately. And relating to that topic of, you know, my artwork, this video is, as by the title probably suggests, me creating some more art. Um, however, this time I'm doing it uh, digitally, not even on like an art making program type thing. I'm just doing it on my normal photo editing software. Um, but it's going to be my current profile picture, but as a Team Fortress achievement. I'd like some feedback on it. I'd like to hear your thoughts, what I should change, what I should add. Um, and if you like this type of video, then potentially I'll do more in the future and maybe more digital stuff or maybe even the physical stuff. Uh, I'd probably suggest the physical stuff because that's I'm, I'm a lot better and I'm, I'm more equipped to do that. Just let me know what you think of this and hopefully the style of video is, you know, enjoyable. Alright, so here we begin by erasing a copied layer so I can just draw over and and now I'm using the color picking tool to just copy the colors that I see and my reference for this was the on the rocks achievement. I used this one because it had all of the colors available on it as well as that stripey background that I, I would use later. However, I didn't actually use the on the rock one for that, I used uh, I don't even know, some scissors one. So right about here, I finish, uh, I finish up the outlining of the lighter color, and then I pick the color for the orange shadows, so the darker parts you usually see on the achievements, and I begin outlining it, and then coloring it in some places here and there. Uh, but this is the, obviously, the shadow part of the plate, and the lighter orange will be the upper part. Uh, I'm not being very careful here with the lines, but that doesn't really matter because I will go back over them and clean them up later. So, just for now, it's a, just a bit rough. Oh yeah, and also, I, I did just realize there that I did do that on the wrong layer, um, which I'll have to fix later on. Now, I'm watching this bank as a, like a laggy replay, <laughs> but uh, here we're coloring in uh, just the plate, finishing up, and... Uh, smoothing some lines out. Sorry, I can't really speak. And then I start to begin on the cake. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do at first, but I was like, you know what, let's just go with the white and the orange on the, um, what's it called here? The little cherries, I believe. Um, I used this gray line to give it that, you know, effect to look more like a Team Fortress thing. Uh, I would go back and thicken it up. Uh, here I did most of what I could with the largest paintbrush and then went back in really tiny to uh, get the little nooks and crannies. Uh, I wasn't really sure what I was going to do for the, what, the, the white parts beneath the cherries, so I just, you know, decided, uh, let's just go with the darker orange. I probably should have done gray, maybe? I don't know. But uh, I just want to take a little moment here to slow it down and just show the little flame I did. Uh, I quite like this part. I was thinking about this the other night. Here's the part where I had to fix the error of the layers. Um, this is what I mentioned before that I had to go on to fix. Uh, this ended up being really tedious. I flicked the layers visibilities on and off to see what was the matter and then I filled in the background with the gray. After I did that I did the candle adding the you know, the stick with the outline, so it didn't blend into the background. Now this is the point where I decided to add the stripes in, because I felt like it needed something a little more. I tried to do it freehand, but uh, it wasn't that straight. So I resorted to picking up this other achievement. I don't know what this one is, but I used this as basically a guide. Um, I overlaid it on top positioned it how I want and then put it on the bottom and then I used like some straight line tool to follow the already existing lines to then color in 
And that's pretty much the rest of this piece. So as I was coloring in these stripes, I made sure to leave a little gray line around everything so it didn't blend in and it stood out a bit more from the background. Other than that, the rest of this piece is just coloring in that darker orange and coloring in the uh, gray where it needs to be gray. Now for whatever reason, when I finished this piece, I decided to uh, send it to my phone and crop it that way, even though I could have done it here, but eh, it doesn't matter. Point is, I got it cropped, and this was the final result. I'm relatively happy with it, that gray line could be straighter or, you know, just a little bit better, but, you know, I, I like it, it's pretty good. Now, if you like this video and like this style and want to see me do either more digital or physical art, do let me know. It would be very nice to do, and I could make that content a lot more and a lot easier. Um, but just let me know.